Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah and today we are back with another Miss Lola haul. Now if you do not know what Miss Lola is, it is an online boutique that sells very mid-range clothing. Make sure that you guys do subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you don't miss any uploads. Other than that, I do upload every single Sunday, so if you don't have notifications, know that I do upload on Sunday. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this haul. I literally just sat down film and forgot to pick up the clothes. Hold on. Let me go ahead and pull up my email from Miss Lola. Miss Lola is a US owned boutique. They have a small shop in California that is mostly just shoes, but they do sell a lot of clothing online and I love their brand. I love that it's simple yet chic. It's still young, but it's still mature. I'm in my mid 20s and I can't shop at Forever 21 because I feel like I'm not close to 21 anymore. I'm closer to 30 now than I am to 21. So the thought of shopping there uh, makes me feel like like I'm just a little too old for it where this brand does give you a little bit more of that mature type of look but still trendy and it gives you that really sultry sexy type of look without being slutty which if that's your girl if that is your fashion taste if that is what you like all power to you that is not personally how I like to dress I love that this brand also has new releases almost every single week so if you go on on a Monday they usually have different things kind of here and there which is really nice and most of the time it is on sale this top is called somebody's angel it is a white oh, guys when I saw this I about died so this this is what it looks like. So it is like most of those fabulous bustiers that you kind of see all over right now. The corset top is really coming back into style. So it has this really beautiful sheer paneling kind of throughout. The arms are also a sheer white, but then obviously where the cups are, you have some padding so you're not you know you're leaving a little bit up to the imagination I love that it is a fuller coverage top but it is still sexy that is my favorite part about this top now I did get this in a size small however because it is a corset top it is a little bit tight so if you're gonna put this on you may want to find somebody to help you with this because I'm not gonna lie the first time I did try this on cuz I like to try on these clothes before I actually show you guys that way I don't get mid through the the trial on and then all of a sudden like nothing fits because that ain't cute. It does fit really really nice. It is beautiful but again it is super tight because it does have that corset look to it. So because it is a corset and it does have that bustier type where it kind of snatches your waist in and really kind of sucks you in because it does have that it is tight. So you are going to need to find somebody to help you get in and out of this. It also comes in black, so if maybe you're not a white girl, you don't like the color white on you, they have black, and then they also had a leopard print as well. It's giving you the sexy, it's giving you the sophisticated, but it's not giving you so slutty that you also don't feel like you're covered up. You know what I mean? The only downside is, one, I know white's going to be a biatch to keep clean, and two, it is a biatch to get in and out of. The next top is going to be the Lover of Mine top, and this is in black. But it is a lot like the green top that I have from my previous haul. However, this one is a short-sleeved version of it, and obviously this one is black. I do love that top. I got so many compliments on that top, so I figured I would purchase this in black. It did come in like a nude color, which I kind of wanted more than I wanted this one. But we settled for black because this with a pair of jeans is going to be so cute in the summer. Hopefully. COVID is a little bit better in the summer so we can actually rock cute clothes. I can go out and have a moment with myself. This top I believe retailed for $34.99 so $35. If you want a top that's versatile, something that you can open up, cover up if you go to a family event or something that you want to cinch up, make yourself feel really really sexy in it, this is a good good top. They have so many different colors in those specific tops that I love, I adore. I have a green one, they had white ones, they had nude colors so there is so much versatility on this website so if you find something that you like although I don't condone that because I that is a slippery slope for me this one is a little different it is short sleeve it's not long sleeve but it is a slippery slope because once you find one top that you love you're gonna want to buy it in every single color which is a again slippery slope but those are really really nice so if you need somewhere to wear something maybe a little bit more modest but then you also want to have a top that you're investing in that's gonna be kind of sexy that is a good one next 
top we are moving kind of quickly along this is the never basic bodysuit and I got this in a never basic red also everything is in a size small just so you guys know but I love this bodysuit I love that it is double lined it is definitely a thick bodysuit it is a bright bright red it is like that just in your face bam red I love this I love tops with wide necklines I also really like wearing tops like this that are simple I love this I think this with a good pair of simple jeans is gonna be cute I think this with a high-waisted skirt in the summer is gonna be cute this underneath basically a cardigan and some pa sweatpants is gonna be cute and then I believe that this one was also $34.99 which seems a bit abrupt Yep, it was $34.99 for this, again, without any discounts. It is above a Forever 21. It is above a Fashion Nova. Also, it washes up nice. Long term, I know I'm not really growing anymore. Again, I am a grown adult woman. Spending a little bit more on bodysuits that are good quality, I can justify. There's very little to complain about. Next bodysuit, which... I'm a little upset about okay and I'm gonna tell you why I'm a little upset about this on the website I will actually insert the picture right here this is the risque bodysuit in the shade natural this was $34.99 so this is where the complaining is gonna start and this is what it looks like when I got it now they look very similar they look the same how come in the picture it looks like it is lined but when I get it it is fully Sheer. For me, I'm not really into like lingerie being worn as not lingerie, if that makes sense. I like this, but I just wish that it was actually a bodysuit that was wearable that gave you the the essence of lingerie without actually being lingerie. Like this is just straight up lingerie. This is straight up just bedroom wear. For me, I'm not into it, but I love the color. I think the color is so gorgeous. I think this in the summer is gonna be beautiful. Obviously, I'm gonna have my little pasties on because ain't nobody wants to see that. Well, people wanna see it, but I don't want people seeing that. For me, I don't necessarily hate this, but this one, I'm way more disappointed in. That definitely was not worth $34.99, just not what I'm into. So these are the Easy Vibe Joggers, and they are in a black nude tie-dye. These retailed for how much? $54.99. Again, it is just a basic high-waisted jogger in this beautiful print. I love this. I love black with like, ugh. It's just, it's sexy, comfortable, and cute without being like sloppy, which is always what I'm here for whenever it comes to comfy clothes being fashionable. I just don't want to, what's the word I'm looking for? I just don't want to look sloppy when I'm wearing sweatpants. Like, I used to not care, but the older I get, the more I care. So I don't know if I have anything right now in my closet that I can necessarily wear with this, but that is an easy fix. I can just go online and buy something. I got a few more pieces. We are wrapping things up. The next piece that I want to talk about is actually the current piece that I am wearing, and that is the Always Ready Bodysuit. One shoulder, it's like a cool tone brown, so it's not necessarily a chocolate brown. It is beautiful. I love this. The material is almost like a swimsuit material. That is my only complaint. I do wish it was a little bit more of a cotton base, like it wasn't so shiny because it does show almost everything. If you're wearing a bra underneath it, it does show. It fits me really nice. It is not by any means short. It doesn't feel like it's like really riding up. I feel like this top is going to complement so many different skin tones. I freaking adore this. I think this is my favorite top. It is actually one of the last pieces that I did end up putting into my cart. But let me tell you, this with a high-waisted skirt, a black pair of jeans, a, just a jean in general, something slouchy. You can really dress this up. You can dress this down. I love that with one shoulders, I can throw in a big earring like the ones I have on today and I don't have to accessorize with anything else. It's stretchy, but it's still tight. It's everything that you would want in a bodysuit. 10 out of 10 would recommend. The next piece that I want to talk about is the best piece of this haul. We saved the best for last. It is this beautiful, gorgeous, ruched dress. Now, I bought this dress because you can always, you can always use a little black dress in your closet. I think this dress is going to be so beautiful. I can wear this to, well, nowhere right now because we're in a pandemic, but eventually I can wear this a lot of places. I feel like it is going to be a wearable dress. I know it doesn't look like a lot right now. With this dress, it has a boning down the front and then it has these two peaks that just frame your body so 
freaking beautifully. A little bit below the knee length. It hugs your curves. Honestly, one of my favorite dresses that I have in my closet right now, and it is probably one of the cheapest dresses that I have in my closet right now. But I think I'm gonna get so much use out of this. I think I can wear this to weddings. I know people don't like wearing black to weddings, but I like wearing black to weddings. I think I could wear this to an event if we go out somewhere. I can put this with sandals. I can put this with heels. Out of everything, this is probably the best piece that I bought, this black dress. I think it comes in like, I think it came in a brown and it also came in a olive tone too. So if you're maybe not into black dresses, they had different options. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. You should, you should let me know down below which one was your favorite. But other than that, that is it for today's video. I think that next week I'm going to be filming another hair video. So make sure that you guys do subscribe and stay tuned for that. My sister's going to be helping me because I had to touch up this red, but I am going to be doing a different color. So make sure that you guys do stay tuned for that. Make sure that you guys do hit subscribe. If you made it this far into the video, you might as well. And I will catch you guys in my next video. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys next Sunday for another upload. Bye, guys.